a bite, but nothing good. You guys tired or done or you heard from any of the other guys? I think their boat leaks. Watch your snake hoods out there. Watch your skin. Two, three. See, that's a different kind. Right there! I can see it. Right there. It's a lizard snake. I knew it. Paxton's doing it. <laughs> you don't want to say hi to your cousins? Hi. Hi who? Jack and Maria. Abby? Hi, Abby. Can you say hi, Abby? Yeah, go get other ones, Susu. Sarah, we'll find other ones. Hey, Sarah, try another one. I'm taking this one. I'm taking this one. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking this one. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking this one. Yeah. Oh,
Can you see it on the ground? Right there. Right there? Can you get it? Remember to look high. There's still some. Can you get it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, now Grandma sees another one over here. Come on, let's go over here and look in the toy. I guess it was a nice idea. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I I'd like to welcome you here. For those of you who don't know, I'm Gina Beckman, and I am cousin to Jennifer, the lovely bride. And um, on behalf of the bride and groom and Matthew, I would like to extend their gratitude for you choosing to come and share this day with them. The purpose of today is for us to be a witness to the public proclamation of Jennifer and Brad in their choice to commit to the sacred union of marriage. I'd like to begin with prayer. We bow our heads. Gracious Heavenly Father God, as we come together here today to witness the marital vows of Jennifer and Brad, we ask for your divine presence that naturally brings forth your fruits of love. We ask that your presence sanctify this couple's choice to commit to one another, and with hearts of gratitude, we thank you for your gift of everlasting love. We ask that you not only bless their union today on this special occasion, during this public proclamation of vows, but that you continue to bless them throughout their lifetime as a couple. Give them the heart's desire to wake up each day renewed and ready to continue this commitment for the rest of their lives as husband and wife. In Jesus' name. Brad, Jennifer, the past few years. 
years. desire to commit for a lifetime. The heart's desire begins to grow in what I refer to as the marital garden. This marital garden can only grow between the two of you. As you both tend to this garden by watering, weeding, and pruning, it begins to grow fruits. The fruits produced are directly related to how well you choose to continue tending to this marital garden. Guard it with your heart. Your life as husband and wife begins to unfold from this day forward. At this time, I believe you guys have no doubt that you're going to say that I'm not My vow is to cherish every minute I have with you. My vow is to share every experience left in the life with you. My vow is to never stop adoring you, never stop loving you, and to never stop growing up. Our lives have always been on a collision course, and today marks the culmination of two paths that have finally met the way they are always intended to. I understand the power behind our love, the strength that comes from our love, and hope that our love has for the future. I vow to you that every day I will thank God for you, every day I will give my heart and my soul, and every day I will respect and love you, and with every measure of my being, I devote my life to yours, and I promise to give all of you to you from this day. Oh, can't compete with that. <laughs> I'm melting in the sun. Uh, <laughs> Brad, I'm really thankful. Since you came into my life, um, everything has changed, and um, I'm a whole person. And I appreciate who you are for me and who you are for our children. Um, my son becoming our son, and your children becoming mine. And Ignacio um, being our son, we're blessed to have him and share him. Um, as our son. So I'm just really thankful for everyone that came here today and for you and all that you are. Okay. So I'm going to have you guys exchange rings when we do the other vow, which so you need the rings we got to do it through the process. Yeah. Can we start with you? And it's simple because you've already done your vows, which is saying to you, Brad, it's going to go to do your vows. And Jennifer, uh-oh. <laughs> 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 and Jennifer, do you take Brad to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <laughs> okay, by the power vested in me by the National Christian Counseling Association and through Rose Ministry, Aww. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Motion. I am honored to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brad Phelps. Just hope it doesn't start rolling. Yeah. Hey yeah, Maria. We, hey Jack. Hey Abby. We wish you guys were here. So sad you couldn't make it. We'll see you soon, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bye yeah. you guys. Let's go, sweetie. Come on, with that little girl wanted this that Indian girl. Oh. Yeah. Yeah.